Hey, everybody. I hope you can see me and hear me. I, as you know, am Pete, and I am here to lead you through the Sealing the Deal webinar, where we're going to learn about how to actually close design sales with permaculture design clients. And I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. I'm so glad you could make it live. If you can't make it live, thank you so much for watching. Um, and I'm going to move into some slides here soon and um, just let us know. My girlfriend Emily will be watching the chat box for your questions and comments, but also to see if you guys can actually see and hear me, which is obviously super important. And here we go. So I'm going to share my screen here and we're going to get started. We had some technical difficulties before, so uh, we should be go good to go now. All right. So we're sealing the deal with design clients, and obviously I'm your host, Pete Wyden. Welcome to the webinar. Before we begin, I want you guys to cancel out all distractions, which namely are your cell, is your cell phone, maybe close to extra tabs on your computer, just so you can focus on while we're here, because there's a lot of important information I'm going to share today, and there's some nuance to it. So you know you might not under, get it all at once, um, but then as long as you're focusing now, you'll be able to digest it and really understand things um, over the next days and weeks. And have some type of note-taking device with you. There will be a recording of this webinar, but it, won't be <laughs> but it won't be available forever. And you can tell I've been working hard and a little tired. Um, but take some notes down, just maybe a few main points from today. It's going to be really helpful for you. So there's about a 15-second delay in this um, video from me to you. So just so you know, if I don't necessarily respond to certain chats and things, I can't actually personally see the chat box. Emily's sending me um, questions and things. Um, but really, just get ready to learn, because this is going to be super, super action-packed. This is exactly what I do in my business. And so it's going to be very approachable and applicable for you, no matter where you are in the, on the planet or how you're planning to run your permaculture design business. These are. Uh, approaches that I know we're, are going to work in different scenarios, and that's why I'm sharing them with you. So this is going to help you out if you're always dreaming up designs, if you just love getting your hands dirty, planting, or building naturally using permaculture techniques, if you're really passionate about what you do and you love the other people in the permaculture community, people who are interested in edible landscaping, water conservation, natural building, um, you know, solar energy, anything like that, you're really going to um, love actually working with these people. So if you're excited to earn more money, I mean, obviously most of us are. In the permaculture communities, there's a little bit of a stigma around money, but I can tell you from experience that once you go through this process that I'm sharing today, you're going to feel a lot more natural around that whole concept of money and capitalism. Um, and then just get ready to grow and learn. So this is a lot has a lot to do with the same concept of forest ecology or succession in an ecosystem. You know, this is fertile ground for you. So the more you can focus and maybe just take a few things and implement them, those seeds will start to grow and eventually will fill in with more of a polyculture. So another huge thing, and I touched on this, is just feeling natural and not salesy. I really want you guys to at least grasp the concept that this is possible, to feel like yourself while you're selling designs, talking with clients about money, things like that, because that's really the only way you're going to make sales is by being yourself and feeling natural and in the flow. That's when you, you know, exude confidence, things like that. So I, I really want uh, that to be possible in your mind. And knowing that you can earn what you're worth, you can earn a great living being a permaculture designer. It doesn't mean you're going to be working for free for people for the rest of your life and living in a shack. Although if you want to do that, that's totally fine, but you can earn money when you need to and want to. So the biggest thing is just confidence. And, you know, it's confidence when you're in front of people, but it's also confidence uh, in the creative process of being a designer, knowing that that's iterative and not everything you think of is going to necessarily be in the final design or even work out on the ground necessarily. Um, we talk a lot about kind of knowing your experience and current skill levels as well in the permaculture community, um, you know, making sure that we're confident in our design skills where we're at right now and we can use those uh, for good in the world. So, bam, green. Make sure you stay until the end to learn how, these, how to get these bonuses. These are huge. They should probably be courses in and of themselves, but they are mini courses actually. So 
Um, your first consultation script is a bonus I'm giving away if you stay till the end. Um, and it's all about how to go through that first consultation on site or even over the phone or online with a client and get the information you need to seal the deal with them. Number two, how to cost out designs, how to be accurate with your hourly or you know lump sum design costing so that you are being fair to yourself and to the client and you know making the money that you deserve, also leaving some wiggle room for error, maybe some change orders, things like that within the design process. And lastly, my proposal and contract templates, which are just absolutely the most essential part of this whole process is because it's what puts things on paper and it's what you both sign, you and a client, to actually have an exchange of money and an understanding of the exchange of information and ideas and solutions that are going to be happening. All right, let me make sure I, yeah, I missed one. So what you're going to learn today you're going to learn the common mistakes designers make when talking to potential clients. And we all do that, and it'll happen, um, and it's a learning process. Being confident in the skills and services that you offer, knowing exactly what they are, so that you can tell people exactly what you can provide them. Super important. A lot of people don't actually know this for their business. And just being yourself when asking for money in exchange for your hard work. So you're only gonna do your best work when you're actually getting what feels like a great exchange. And money can mean anything for you. I mean, it could mean you know, buying your kid a new pair of pants. It could mean buying those new fruit trees for your homestead, anything like that. Um, but really n following your own natural intuition in terms of how you interact with people during sales. And finally, how to see the seal the deal with design clients. This is just, my favorite part of the whole thing and it just feels so great to be able to actually sign a contract with someone have smiles handshakes all around and then get to work which is the best part so i've got a question for you guys i'm wondering if you've talked with potential clients before and how did it go and this doesn't have to be a very formal experience you didn't have to you know be at their house talking with them about actual design for money but have you interacted with people just even starting a conversation at a local cafe or other event um, what did it feel like how did it go for you if you can drop a line in the chat below that's going to help me better understand kind of where you guys are at and what you might uh, be working through i know that when i first started i had no idea how to talk to people because I thought I had to be salesy. So we've all got a journey to take, and I love these images. I've got a lot of personal images in this webinar. This is a monkey puzzle seed, and then the tree uh, near the Bullock Brothers homestead in Washington in the USA. And you know we're all starting at that seed level, but you can see that seed starting to break open. Um, everything's starting to happen, and eventually, you know, we can become this great tree. So we're all um, on a path, and it takes time, and it's about the journey. It's not about a certain destination, although you should have an idea of what that destination might look like for you. So here's my story. It's where I've been and what I've learned along the way. So I spent a lot of time in Michigan. I studied applied ecology at Michigan Tech in northern Michigan, and then that was a bachelor's degree, and after that, I spent three years doing a master's degree in landscape architecture, and that's where these pictures are from, is Ann Arbor, Michigan, during grad school. And, you know, I knew from the start, I was kind of lucky that in my freshman year of college, I realized that I was so interested in edible landscaping and growing food that I wanted to actually take this and do it professionally, and I knew that landscape design was something that would get me there. Um, it turned out to be an amazing experience. I actually learned a lot of the practical applications of permaculture in Ann Arbor um, on the top left. That's me and Sepp Holzer, the well-known um, Austrian farmer. And this on the right is a workshop I led on earthworks at a local farm. And then below that is a pollinator planting. I received a grant from the local botanical garden to install. It's actually about a 2,000 square foot planting. Um, so I just really learned a lot of the ropes and I learned a lot of the background kind of design process stuff while I was in school there. I really didn't have an idea of actually how to sell this stuff or get paid to do it. I didn't get paid to do any of this stuff. Um, it was all, you know, out of the goodness of my heart, which felt great. But at the same time, how was I going to support myself? So then I went to Portland, Oregon. I was luckily enough, luckily enough to um, find a great job 
um, as a designer before I even moved out there, which is kind of unheard of in such a large town, but it was just a wonderful experience. Um, I ended up going between two different companies, started out at a design build firm called Pistols Nursery as a planting designer, and then I moved into the situation you see with the three guys on the bottom left, which is me, my friend Mike, and our construction manager Troy at Blossom in Portland, Oregon, which is a ecologically based design firm. And we were doing actual edible landscaping and moving toward permaculture design and integrating that into an existing landscape business. Um, you know, in Portland, I really learned how to network. That's why there's so many shots of people here. And I also learned how to actually sell things. But you know, the only thing that I needed to know to actually be able to do this was, yes, I needed to know some of the ins and outs of what things cost and what's the process for, you know, signing a business agreement, things like that. But it's really about being myself. You can see there's me on the top right with the Bullock Brothers. I just had a beautiful time there last August in 2016 with some friends at an advanced permaculture training. And, um, you know, really just kind of finding my own groove and following my passion. You can see I'm smiling and in all these pictures, um, there's a good reason for it. So I learned a lot about the design business in Portland. Um, and you know, what I really found out is that, you know, it can't just be about you, about making money or, you know, about anything um, kind of material or even kind of in the achievement realm. It's really about your mission and what's driving you to be a permaculture designer. So kind of what's your purpose and what's underlying that is gonna fuel your passion for it and then propel you into this kind of natural success as a permaculture designer. So finding purpose, things got so much easier when I saw my permaculture design sales this way. Instead of seeing them as sales, it's not sales, it's the, the gateway to being able to help someone grow their own food or keep water out of the local sewer because we wanna make the world a more beautiful place. I mean, these are some of my more general ideas about what my mission is. And um, I know that you guys see things in a very similar way. So what's your why? What is your passion and purpose here um, to become a permaculture designer, to use your unique skills and experience to actually make things happen on the ground for people or teach people in some way? Um, you know, how to change their landscape, their living situation for the better. And I'd love it if you shared that in the chat below. Um, so we can just learn a little bit more about each other. I'm really excited to interact more with you guys. And I'll be doing some more Facebook Live stuff in the future too, because I've been having a blast with that. So this is also all about social permaculture, which is something that kind of eluded me for a long time, because I'm more of the ecology and design background um this you know there's so many aspects to permaculture social economic ecological whatever extraterrestrial um you know i started showing others how to feel this inspired in their own business because it was so transformative for me and it wasn't necessarily like flip a switch but it was also so huge and monumental of a change in the way I did things and the way I felt in my life, you know, it took a lot of anxiety away about uh, my prof professional life. My colleagues became my friends, like all this stuff. It just, it just kind of all plugged in and started working. But time is limited and I was so busy in Portland doing design and doing volunteer work for other people, things like that. I just, I wanted to help more of you guys because especially when I was at the Bullock training last year, there were about 30 people there and about half of them were permaculture designers that just couldn't figure out how to start a business, but they really wanted to, or they wanted to grow one that already existed. And it was just, it's, there's so many unknowns and it's really silly actually, because when it comes down to it, it's fairly simple. Um, but that's some of the good fortune that I've had to work with people who actually taught me this stuff. Um, so what I did was I left my full-time edible landscape design job that I had helped build in Portland earlier this summer and I moved to Florida to explore subtropical gardening um, and to, to live by a friend I'm helping to create an urban farm with and also just to have the time to be able to focus on this stuff and help more of you guys. So here we are. Sealing the deal with design clients. We're finally around to the nitty gritty of this training. So this is how I do it. This is, these are my steps that I have, you know, cut through all the confusion and 
some of the vagary that surrounded some of the things I've learned from other people I've worked with. And I just was able to make it more concise for me. Um, although this does work for any sales um, type of system. So it could work in other industries too, but I happen to be applying it to permaculture because that's what I'm really passionate about. So, you know, first I just find the people who might be interested in paying me to help them out to provide the solution that I'm great at. The second, I meet with them about that. I offer them some advice or, you know, some incentive to meet with me. I show them that I'm for real. I show them that I've listened to them and that I care and that I have a solution for what they've told me is their problem or what they're confused about. And finally, I seal the deal, which is that actual exchange of an agreement and money for my work. So how do I know this stuff? I am totally standing on the shoulders of giants and I want to be the shoulder for you guys as well. Um, you know, being in permaculture, I can see kind of the upward growth that can happen. We're just at the very beginning of the permaculture design industry, guys. I mean, yeah, you might see like Jeff Lawton and my friend Dan Halsey and some other people, you know, I'm sure you know of a lot that are doing great design work, um, but there's so much room to grow and so many other ways to do permaculture design or just help people on this planet, even if you don't use the word permaculture in the work you do. But I've been fortunate enough to work with some incredible business people, some incredible landscape profession professionals, and um, I'm just really grateful to be able to, you know, be that next stepping stone on the way to then help the permaculture community that is namely you um, to get moving. So how did I do it in a brand new place? Um, these are some fun images. I'm a totally a plant nerd at heart. Um, these are some nitrogen fixing fenugreek plants and perennial peanut with a jabota kaba, which is a cool fruit tree that grows fruit off of the side of its stems. It's really crazy, off the side of its trunk. And then um, the one on the right is actually a jackfruit tree planted with some native nitrogen fixers as well. I've been really having a fun time starting to create this uh, urban farm with my friend here in Florida, but also then reaching out and finding design clients here to help support myself. Got a little lag time. Let's see. Yeah, I keep missing slides. Okay, so I use these steps to rule out common mistakes. And here are some of the mistakes that designers tend to make. So forcing a connection between you and the, your clients, you and other partners or colleagues that you might be working with, other contractors, you have to be using your intuition. It's not just a mental thinking game. It's about does this feel right or you know, is this person truly invested in what I provide and want to offer? So if you're forcing a connection, things aren't gonna line up correctly and it's gonna be kind of a weird situation. This is something that, you know, is developed through practice and I can help you guys understand a little more about this as well but it's definitely one of the important things that I've learned is you know feeling natural about okay could this person and I be friends are we communicating well um, are our expectations the same things like that and over promising is really easy to do being a permaculture designer saying you can do things that you actually can't do necessarily so understanding your limits and your own expertise um, trying to deliver too much design or installation work for too little money and not being honest about where your own limitations are or where the realities are for that situation. Um, number three, taking too long, um, you know, letting too much time pass between initially meeting a person and reaching out to them for your initial consultation or, you know, taking too long with the design process when people aren't sure kind of where you're at or when you're going to get back to them. And being an organized, those two kind of go together, three and four, um, to actually, basically what you're trying to do is just keep people on track with you when you're actually working with them. Keep them up to date. And also being organized helps you a lot because then you know, okay, this day I'm going to reach out to this person to schedule this consultation. And you have that all laid out, which is something I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, farther along in this presentation about the systems that I use to stay organized. So number one, I made it easy for clients to find me. And yes, you do have to look for them, but really you want that stream of clients coming your way because it gives you more time to work on designs, it gives you more time to develop yourself, and it allows you to actually focus on the people that matter. 
So where do you look? And obviously it's gonna be where your clients are looking. Um, so let's see what this other slide says. So where your clients are looking is going to be where you want to meet them. So maybe that happens to be in the Natural Living magazine that comes out or the local library. For example, I've been giving talks at the local library here in Florida and master gardeners are just flocking to them. They love it and they're giving me ideas for more talks and workshops I can give and they also asked me to put my a stack of my cards at their weekly tabling session at the library where they answer plant questions. It's amazing. So if you find the right people in the right place, you're going to find potential clients because they're already interested in what you have to talk about and to teach them. So what do you do when you get to the place where these people are? You teach them something and you're basically offering them just yeah, my slides are a little messed up. So how do you do it is through these talks, articles, workshops, events, videos. There's so many ways to do this, guys. And really, it's about what works best for you and what can convey what you're trying to teach the best. It might be very visual what you're talking about. Or if it's an article, you might be able to lay things out in a very simple way that no one else can do. Um, or giving a talk. Honestly, getting in front of people face to face is probably the best way to do this stuff because then they're going to be the most engaged with you. So how do you get people there? And feel free to put in some questions um, as well, guys, because I, I tend to be skipping things a little bit. But how do you get people there? I gave them an incentive to meet with me. So that might be um, this vegan group that I gave a talk to recently. I baked a bunch of sweet potato banana cookies for them. And so I know that those people, one, they're already interested in their health, two, um, that's not the only incentive I gave them to meet with it, to meet with me. I taught them all about how to actually grow their own food, but it's all, it's about making this a special experience for them and helping them meet you halfway. So I know someone's interested in health. I'm teaching them how to grow healthy food. Bam. We're obviously going to connect. Um, you might give someone a little bonus, such as at the talks I do, I give people a 10% uh, discount off design services right now because I'm building my business. Um, and for me, I tend to do multiple thousand dollar design services for an entire yard. So 10% really isn't that big. And you can do the same thing. So offer something that brings them a quick win. You want to be able to get people in the door and then provide something such as this is how to grow amazing greens or amazing sprouts for people who are vegan. You know, people who might not have much space yet or don't want to make a gigantic garden before they can eat some food. Um, you know, for those master gardeners, they wanted to learn how to compost. And so I taught them how to properly layer compost and how to treat it in the different um, seasons that we have here in Florida that are a lot different than the rest of the U.S. And so it's something easy that just gives them a leg up. And then they can go do that, especially you want to focus on something where they can take just a quick action that takes five or ten minutes um, and it's really easy to understand and then they'll think of you when they do that. So it all comes back around and It really should just be the tip of the iceberg for all that you offer So you also want to make sure that built into this process is a way for them to get in touch with you again And that's one reason why at my talks for example I do a sign-in sheet with their email addresses So I get to send people an email after with some extra resources things like that we can talk with each other again um, or if you're putting a blog post up, have a way to get people's email addresses or their phone number if you're talking with them. You always want to get their contact info because a lot of people, even if they tell you, trust me from my experience, if they tell you they're going to contact you, they promise, they don't. It's just the way things are. The card gets lost, they get busy, whatever. So how do you incentivize people? How do you show them just the tip of the iceberg after you've given them a quick win? And that's with the initial consultation, this first site visit, this first phone call, Skype call, whatever, you're providing people just some type of initial conversation that helps you understand and get the information that you need to seal the deal with them and to show them that you understand what's going on with their situation, their property, their building, whatever it might be, and then to show them that you have the solution. 
So you just do a good job of listening to people. And that's one of the great things about, say, these live events, these talks. I, I love talks, if you can't tell, or workshops. You get so much information from people about what they don't know, what they're looking to understand, et cetera. So doing a good job of listening, which is an art in and of itself, and responding with a solution for them. And so that solution is what I call the design proposal. And I will actually take the information I learned from people in that initial consultation. It was, for me, what I do is a site visit most often where I'm there for an hour. It's actually free, especially right now in Florida where I'm building my business. I want to make the barriers as low as possible for people to say, yes, I want you to come to my house. So I do that consultation. I take the notes. And um, also, by the way, that bonus will help you understand which notes to take, which questions to ask. And I'll talk about that more later. But this all informs the design proposal, which is basically laying out, here's what we talked about. Here's what could solve that problem. Here's maybe some pretty visuals and things that we could do um, in your, on your property. Let's talk more. So then you know, we get on the same page, literally and figuratively, and we sign. We seal this thing up, we shake hands, and I deliver the design, they deliver the feedback, you know? It, this is what gets us to the point of the signed contract. That is the page that we're signing and that I'm delivering upon. Because this design proposal that I've been talking about actually turns right into the contract, and those are the templates that I'm offering too. So yeah, this proposal turns right into a contract. I don't have to do anything extra. This is all just based on a couple other contact points up to this point where I've understood what these people want and what I can give them. And it works out really well. You know, I do have clients who don't end up signing um, sometimes, but for the most part, I have a really good turnaround with this process. So this theory is not based on, <laughs> this is not based on a theory or ideas. This is stuff I've actually done, guys. This is exactly what I do in my own business and what I know other people who have had success do in theirs, who I've helped and who I just happen to know as well. So I continue to have this success over and over. And part of that is because I found my mission. Part of it is because I have this process to follow that just makes it easy and really kind of free flowing, so I don't have to think too much. Sorry about these slides. So in new and different places, in Portland and now in Englewood, Florida, I've been able to do this using the same exact system. It's amazing. So I'm not sure why exactly you came today, but you're definitely in the right place. If you're tired of sitting on the sidelines, I can tell you that I've watched so many videos of people like Ben Falk and Jeff Lawton, and we're just like, oh man, could I ever do that? Or will I ever get there? How the heck did they do it? And it's, it's a frustrating place to be. It's also a great place to be because they're great teachers, but at the same time, it's time for us to get into the action. And so if you're ready to be done with excuses, this is exactly the right place for you because although those excuses do come up and I've got them too, guys, we can help each other work through them. And I have worked through a crap ton of excuses um, to be able to get to the place I am and to actually just open the doors to be you know, comfortable with where I'm at in life and kind of making some strides towards success, which can be really scary. And if you're ready to make new friends, um, you know, the students in the professional permaculture designer group, your new colleagues, your new clients, um, other people in your community that, community that are going to be drawn to you as a permaculture designer who is passionate and sharing this abundance of knowledge, um, you're absolutely in the right place to start to get some of that benefit. So I want you to know that you guys can do this. I'm absolutely not the exception. Yes, I'm a smart person. Yes, I went to grad school, although I almost dropped out like five times or more. And I have a lot of friends who don't have a big design degree, but they're doing permaculture designs all the time. They're giving talks and things all the time. They're invited to do stuff whenever, wherever, just because they're so into what they do, they got good at it. So how can you make this work for you guys? And from my spec perspective, you personally have two options. And these are the ones that I was considering while I was starting my business. 
you can do this your own way with a lot of unknowns and a lot of frustration. There's a lot of trial and error of, you know, will this event work to get people or, you know, will this ad I'm putting in the paperwork, things like that. Lots of time, money, and energy can go into some of these tactics that we try to start our business with. And it can be very dismaying. And I really don't want you guys, um, you know, to give up in frustration before you um, can actually make some change in the world. So you can also get a step-by-step -step course or you know, learn from a mentor that takes all the confusion out of it. And this is the way that I chose to go, although I just had a mentor during that time. So I am pleased to introduce Build Your Client Base. This is a new course that I've created which involves a streamlined process for signing clients on step-by-step. -step. And you know, it goes so in-depth on a lot of the things I've covered today, but more things than I could possibly try and cover in an hour here with you guys. So this course contains four modules, which are um, come out over four weeks, and has three amazing bonuses that should be courses in and of themselves. And there's an awesome fast action bonus for anyone who signs up within the time of this live webinar and up to 15 minutes after. So in the first module of this course, it's all about setting your mindset right. So this is a lot of what I talk about. It's getting clear on your financial needs, understanding, you know, how much money do you actually need to make to pay the bills? How much money do you want to make to, you know, do those special things in your life beyond that? Facing your fears and doubts, which are absolutely crucial, and they'll continue to come up. They never actually go away. You know, even when you're 80 years old and on your rocking chair, um, looking out over your beautiful permaculture homestead, you know, those fears and doubts still creep up about whatever you might be thinking about, especially starting a business at this crucial time in your life. And finding your personal mission to fuel your fire gets you through those fears and doubts. I also want you guys to be able to work smarter and not harder, and that's why I've included this in this first module, so that you can actually take some of the pain out of starting a business so you're not wasting time in areas that you don't need to be spending. Module two covers your design niche, and I've talked a little bit about this before. If you were part of the Get Design Clients Challenge, you heard some about this. You need to get clear on what you do and what you don't do for clients. I have a good friend who offers a certain natural building design service, but he also gets asked to do a ton of other things at the same time, which he'd rather not be doing. Um, so it's really getting clear on what you say yes and no to for clients, which also helps you because you can establish yourself as an expert in your niche and get all the benefits from niching with the, the world of permaculture. You can make more money per job, you can get more exciting projects. And also a niche helps you create systems that streamline everything in your business because you have a process that's replicable but has enough flexibility in it to be able to you know, be sensitive to the unique qualities of a certain project. Let's see if we're gonna jump too far ahead here. All right, module three is your offerings. You wanna be able to define the products and services that you will offer, just like I talked about, what you do and don't do, what you offer, and be able to really bring focus to your work process and make it a breeze. So you're gonna be able to just really tell people exactly what you offer and how that benefits them, and that's half the battle of sales. This also helps you, including with your niche that informs this, increasing revenue per project while minimizing the work, because you have higher end products and services you can create based on the fact that you are an absolute expert in your permaculture design niche. And then, as you work, you can build a portfolio to be examples and keep moving farther along in terms of how you develop your expertise and what you're doing, the exciting projects you're getting, by doing stuff that you already know you're gonna love doing. It's not about spending five years doing something that you really hate, um, you know, in order to get where you want to go. That's not how life works. You know, you get what you give. So if you do something you love, you're going to get more of that. And I want you guys to be able to keep income steady in your business, and you can provide add-on products and services, you know, bonus things that you do, or, you know, an upsell where you can charge, you know, you can ask someone to provide an extra amount of money in order to do a certain more detailed job on a, on a specific area, um, you know, use different materials that are kind of new, up and coming and exciting, things like that. Number four is huge, it's a lot of what I'm talking about today, is getting the word out. 
creating a portfolio, which is your gallery of work that works for you in a simple way that is very legible and your future clients can understand this. Um, you know, leaders of events can see what you do and invite you to give talks, things like that. You can find clients anywhere in your local area, across the world, or on the interwebs. Um, and be able to leverage other people's audiences and groups to spread your name, like that vegan group I gave a talk to. 30 people in that group, I didn't have to do anything. They reached out to me from a flyer I posted at the grocery store. Getting the word out, guys. The key things that you need for your website or business page to give people the info they need quickly and understand what you do right away. And putting your client attraction on autopilot so you don't have to actually think about this stuff. You have a system to go along with and understand when you're reaching out to people, when you're doing certain things, when you're creating content for your um, client attraction events or articles, or whatever you happen to be doing. Um, this is a great thing to do because it can take so much time away from being able to either do the design work you enjoy or enjoy your personal life. So the bodacious bonuses. I've got some sweet stuff here. I really, I just want you guys to be successful. So I've just got all this crazy awesome stuff I'm packing into this. I want you to be able to lead an initial consultation that isn't a waste of time for you or the client. It gets you the information that you need to write that design proposal and seal the deal. I want you to number two, be able to estimate your design costs accurately and you can put your design bids um, in your proposals, getting paid what you're worth. These are formulas that I've used myself and they offer that wiggle room, that flexibility for overtime or work I didn't anticipate in a certain design. And I've also got these templates for design proposals and contracts. So these are what I use in my business to create the design proposal that turns into a contract so easy, so straightforward, lays everything out for the client and gets you actually designing and earning money for those designs that much faster. I just want to remove as many possible paths of resistance there are for you guys to actually making this successful business happen and healing the planet and the people. So I want you guys to succeed and you can meet me halfway. Um, I'm going to go back here. So meeting me halfway is about putting in that extra work. So I'm giving you guys a step-by-step -step plan of what to do and how to follow um, this progression of activities that lead to paying design work. So I've put in, I'm putting in my half of the work. I'm also putting in, you know, my time to help you guys personally. And then if you can meet me halfway with the effort that you take to bring your permaculture design business to life, then I think we're golden. So this is one of my um, friends and clients, Rachel Lamb, and she's just been so excited to actually have me working together with her. I'm honestly, I'm just astounded at the progress she's made in the past few months um, working together with her. We've been able to break through a lot of barriers, just more kind of mental barriers, that kind of fear and doubt that comes into the mix. Uh, when you're starting something new, when you've got a lot of things like a family and a job on the side to juggle, um, school, et cetera, um, really breaking through these things and breaking it down to make it simple. And so you can actually get stuff done. It's one step at a time. So this is Monica and she and I have been working together for a little while and I've really been helping her a lot with her own business. She happens to be a virtual assistant online. Um, so it's a little bit different, but she's also just all about down to earth, getting real, let's just do what matters. Um, I mean, you can read this yourself. I'm just so happy to be, you know, seeing these this feedback from people. I can't wait to see your feedback once we start working together. I love this little bit at the end. People will be stupid not to work with them. Of course, that's up to you to decide, but I thought it was hilarious. So the investment for build your client base, including all these bonuses and everything, is $297. And I'll break that down a little more. This helps you help me. So the returns, it's gonna pay for itself with one client in most countries across the world. So for me personally, one design project is worth two to $4,000. For you, it might be anywhere from 500 to 2,500 or something. Um, it could be even more honestly, depending what you're doing. But it's kind of ridiculous how fast this stuff pays for itself. But I understand that it can be difficult to get to a point where you're like, okay, you know, I'm not making money right now, but I'm going to make this investment in my future. So there's a fast action bonus. This is what it is. 
if you order and enroll today, within 15 minutes of the ending of this live webinar, I'm going to give you two, count them two, one hour coaching calls that are just between you and me. It's not a group where you're gonna be lost in the mix, it's just one to one, and you'd be using those in the next three months, and I'll give you advice on kind of where to, to put those in terms of the schedule so we can make the most of our time together. But I wanna help you guys so bad that I'm willing to take two hours of my time and just you and me on the phone together, hashing out your business, talking about the clients you're gonna talk with, what you're gonna say, how it's gonna go, um, you know, working through problems in your business and just really kind of moving forward together and breaking through those barriers. So imagine what we could do together, just you and I on the phone for those two hours and not to mention the other course and bonuses involved in this. The other bonuses, these initial consultation scripts, the design cost estimator, and the templates for proposals and contracts, this is all you need, guys, to actually be able to get to the point of being able to do the design work you're so excited to do. And I'll also help you understand what that design work actually is throughout the Build Your Client Base course. We're not just gonna throw you out into the world completely overwhelmed and out of your element. We're gonna actually make sure that you're plugged in to do exactly um, what you are able to help people do and to do it well. So I need you, we all need you guys out there being a designer. You personally have a lot of unique skills, experience, and interests to add to the mix. And the more and more I get into the realm of permaculture, the more I realize how different everyone is. A designer is not comparable to another designer. We are all so different. And just the way that we act, the way that we get passionate about things and the certain skills that we have all make us unique. And so I want that unique imprint on the world in terms of healing the planet, healing people, and getting permaculture out into the mainstream so it's not such an avant-garde thing anymore. So the total value versus the cost of this you can see here, the Build Your Client Base course is actually going up $100 in price after 48 hours. So this Sunday, it's gonna go up. This is because one, I wanted to offer you guys who are with me from the start a better deal than anyone else is ever gonna get on this course. So this price is gonna stay at 397. It may go up in the future, but I'm also offering all these bonuses. And this is just an estimated value of these. Honestly, these are gonna get you your actual clients. So the value is even greater than that 147 I'm talking about. These are plug and play systems, techniques, and templates for you guys to use for your business. And these two one hour coaching calls, I mean, at this point, I'm just too busy. So I have to you know, charge a lot per hour for my time and in expertise and experience. And you will be able to to uh, do that as well as you progress as a permaculture designer. Um, but this is a value of almost $1,000 to actually have lifetime access to build your client base, the bonuses, and get these two hour coaching calls when it's so crucial in your design business to have a mentor. So the value of this, honestly, it can't be measured in money because it's a real business. It's a livelihood for you. It's a way to plug your passion into the way that you live your life and a way to change the world for the better. I can't think of any more exciting thing to do and that's why I do permaculture design. You do happen to save $547, which could buy you a new Pomeranian puppy if you really wanted to. Hopefully you'll go to the Humane Society though. But not to mention all the wasted time and energy of doing this without a tried and true plan. Um, you know, when I even started an online business, I didn't have a plan. I ended up finding a mentor who helped me get to be where I am in front of you guys today and, and help live my passion out. And the same thing goes for your permaculture design business, whether it's going to be local, international, or online, we can work together um, with this tried and true plan I provide with Build Your Client Base. Here we go. Okay. The value of a presale. So I wanna let you guys know up front that what I'm doing right now is a pre-sale. So the actual Build Your Client Base course and the bonuses are available on October 23rd. And that's because I'm still working on it, but I wanted to give you guys a chance to get in at the bottom, to be here from the beginning. You've been supporting me from the start. I just started all this online stuff last this past August, and I am so happy 
to have you guys here. I want to reward you for being with me from the beginning. So, you know, you will have a few weeks of lag time before the actual course starts, but this makes sure that you actually have it secured at an incredible deal. Plus these coaching calls if you happen to buy within the next few minutes. So I want you to help me help you. And this is all about completing this circle, social permaculture in action. I can't keep doing this unless I have some great students who are able to go out into the world and do this. But at the same time, you know, all the time I'm spending creating these courses, um, you know, I need to have some resources to be, able, to be able to keep going. So this is social permaculture in action. And I'm so excited to actually be applying this to my business. So when you click enroll below, this is what'll happen. So you'll get this deal if you sign up quick and it will be showing you the Teachable website, which is where our course is based. It'll show you the price and show you where to put a credit or debit card or whatever payment method you want to use. So it's pretty easy to walk through. I do wanna let you guys know that Teachable may ask you to um, sign up for free before you actually um, do this. So you may come up to that create an account page. And you know, once you're done, you get that confirmation and then you're able to continue to the course. I will be putting in a welcome package for you and your first action plan um, in the next few days and get that to you guys so you can get moving on your business even before the actual course is out. Remember, this Fast Action Live bonus is only available within the next 15 minutes after the webinar ends. So if you really want to double your value, I can't imagine you know, how valuable this could be because we can talk about whatever you want. We can personalize these two live calls that I'm so excited to help you out with to put your business on the next level and really be able to personalize your experience and get you farther along. So is this worth it? I absolutely would not be teaching this if it didn't sell designs for me because that would be insane. Um, you know, I'm in this for the long haul, guys. I'm going to be teaching this type of stuff for quite a while because I absolutely love it. I love who you are as people, and this absolutely works because I'm living proof. Will it work for you? Well, I can tell you that this type of sales has worked for millennia. It's incentive based, it's relationship based. You're just building friendships with people and you're exchanging value. I'm a shy person myself. You may not be able to tell that at this point, but I've done a lot of work to be able to break out of my shell. But at the same time, with this laid out process, step by step in build your client base, you'll be able to even be a shy person and still have natural conversations with people just by nature of you living out your passion and being interested in what you're talking about. Do you have the time? You know, I had a full-time job for a very long time and it was very difficult um, to make time for things, but I still, you know, made two to five hours a week to be able to work on my business. And it's about these small steps. You don't need 20 hours a week to build a business if you have the right steps to take. So I'll help you guys find the time, even if it's just an hour a week when your kids are asleep or when your partner's out, um, you know, we're going to be able to find the time to make this work. And especially if you buy now, we get those coaching calls. We're going to get a lot farther ahead, a lot faster. And remember, I'm all about working smarter and not harder. I have literally burnt myself out over the past seven years trying to achieve something that I actually realized wasn't my true idea of a great life. And that's why we work on the mindset in the first module of the course. So we're going to work really intelligently on things that matter so we don't waste time and energy. So if you feel like you can't afford this right now, I absolutely understand, guys. I have been and am still relatively in a position of there's a lot of things I need to say no to because I'm focusing my financial efforts elsewhere. However, I'm wondering if you can actually afford to miss out on the chance to become a full-time permaculture designer and all of the benefits and opportunities for increased income, you know, better quality of life, more amazing friends, more excitement in your life, bringing you more health, et cetera. Um, if you can actually afford to miss out on this, this is the lowest price this is ever going to be. And you're getting a ton of value in here. And I just, I just want to be able to help you out. I want to be able to get you doing permaculture design to get you in front of your clients and to be able to make beautiful things happen. So I cannot wait to share this with you guys. 
If you can enroll now, you'll get the most out of this opportunity. So the countdown's beginning. You do have 48 hours, but the, the bonus of the two one-hour calls does go away. If you click enroll below, uh, within the next 15 or so minutes, you'll be able to get that. And I am opening up questions about the Build Your Client Base course now. So while I wait for Emily to send me some questions, I can tell you a little bit about what I've been doing um, kind of behind the scenes. So what I'm creating are basically transposing a lot of the systems that I use in my own business to make things a lot easier, such as a spreadsheet for when I'm actually interacting with clients, when I'm contacting them, when to follow up with them, what they said, what their best um, contact method is, things like that. Those types of things are actually the bread and butter of what happens behind the scenes because it allows me to be more creative in my business. Um, so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to look and see if there are any comments myself. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out. This has been awesome. And let's see here. Okay. Well, I suppose if there aren't any questions yet, I'm going to just take a minute and check. Okay, well, it sounds like there aren't any questions. If there are, I apologize. I can't see any on my screen right now. Um, I'll get back to you guys via the Facebook group. I hope you had an awesome time here today. I hope you take advantage of this opportunity because it's absolutely huge. And you know, I'm, it sounds kind of vague when I say something like that, but I just I know how valuable this has been for me and how much this has enriched my life. Um, so I'm really pumped to be able to join you guys inside the course. Thank you so much for joining, and I will see you guys around the interwebs. Take it easy.